Okay, so we are gonna do times four strategy is double the number and double it again. So six times four, six doubled is 12, and 12 doubled, which just means that number plus itself. So six doubled is 12, six plus six is 12, and then 12 plus 12 is 24. Seven times four, seven doubled means seven plus seven is 14, and 14 plus 14 is 28. Eight times four is eight doubled is 16, and 16 plus 16 is 32. Seven times five is 35. Eight times five is 40. Six times five is 30. Five times five is two fives, 25. Six times six is 36. Seven times seven is our football team, 49ers. Eight times eight, I ate and I ate and I fell on the floor. Eight times eight is 64. These ones are to memorize. You probably watch this video for three weeks um, and, and maybe four weeks, and then you'll start to get it. Six times seven is 42. Six times eight is 48. Seven times eight is 56. So the new ones are seven times six is 42. Six times eight is 48. And seven times eight is 56. All right, the last ones we have left to do, like I said, you're gonna watch this for a couple weeks so you don't have to get this right away, is times nine strategy is probably the best one ever. So it's a little complicated and it's gonna take a little bit of time, but in about three weeks from now, you're gonna love times nine. Today, not so much, but in three weeks from now, when it starts making sense, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, math is so cool. Do you see how cool math is? I can't believe how cool times nine is. So what's so good about times nine? It has an amazing pattern. <coughs> Excuse me, as I'm coughing. It has an amazing pattern. And here is the pattern, nine times nine. You take the number that you're multiplying by nine, which is nine, and you underline it. That's step one. Step two is to subtract one from the underlined number. Step two, nine minus one is eight. Step three is to make an addition sign right here. And step four is to put a blank equals nine. The last step is to fill in what would go here. Eight plus something equals nine. What is my something, Miss McKenzie? So nine times nine equals eight. So plus what? Plus blank equals nine. Plus one equals nine. Yep. So now you take this eight and you take this one and you put them together and that is the answer. Now, I know you think, I don't see what's so cool about that, but I'm gonna show you what happens. Every single one of these, because math is a pattern, right? There's patterns and it's super cool because we can learn these patterns and strategies. Now watch this, nine times eight, my first digit is one less than the underlying number. So step one, you're gonna underline the number that you're multiplying by nine, which is eight. You're gonna subtract one from that, which is seven. Now you're gonna do plus blank equals nine, and then you're gonna write seven plus something equals nine. What is the something? It's a two, 72. So basically, for our times nine, our answer, if you add it, the first digit with the second digit, always equals nine. And it's times nine. Do you get how cool that is? So cool. So I, I'm, I'm sure you don't get it, but I get it and I think it's cool and you'll get it in like three weeks. So. 
we're going to underline the 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 plus something equals 9. 6 plus 3. The answer is 63. Next one, we're going to underline the 6. 6 plus something, I mean, 6 minus some, 1 is 5. 5 plus something equals 9. 5 plus 4, 54. Now we're going to do the next one. Step one, underline the number that I'm multiplying by nine. Five minus one is four. Four plus something equals nine. Four plus five, 45. Underline first step. Four minus one is three. Second step, third step plus blank equals nine. Last step, fill in the blank. 3 plus 6 equals 9, 36. Underline the 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 plus something equals 9, 27. Next one, underline 2 minus 1 is 1 plus something equals 9, 18.